report. Um, back here in Kenya, you saw Rafiki, the ban was lifted. Um, of course, um, Dr. Ezekiel Mutua was not a happy man. A lot of Kenyans... This The Rafiki movie has a lot of Kenyans... Uh, split through the middle you know others are for it others are against it um michael um i'd love to get your thoughts on this before i throw it back to the panel to let this guy school off beginning with you smita but michael just your thoughts on um the rafiki movie now rafiki movie ha, that um is a very interesting debate but first of all let's start with the fact that kenyans are a very curious lot mm -hmm. it literally sold out until they had to get more um more uh, more, more you know viewings mm -hmm. than what they had initially scheduled but that tells you something one that we're curious and two that the ban was probably premature Not in well terms done. of yeah to the audience the audience was ready to watch it and i think in the day and age we're living in it is very difficult to police uh, people, especially when it comes to morals. Okay. I think that should be done from the house, from home, and, you know, from the religious, uh, whatever, but to try and police it from uh, national, level. national level and from, you know, institutions, that's going to be extremely difficult. And let's be honest, we know that any movie that has been banned in this country has probably been watched more than those that have not been banned. Yeah, so even by the time Street, guys are going yes. to watch it there, those are probably the ones who are not able to watch it before. I haven't watched it, so I really cannot comment on the movie itself. All right, Solo, your thoughts? Um, Smita, uh, I refuse to take your comments. <laughs> Solo? Well, well a, a great cast. I think what we should have uh, looked here is the production aspect. You know, um, uh, how, how good as writers are we? How good as actors are we? How, I mean, what levels of production can we get if um, they're saying that this one is going to be submitted for the Oscars? Mm. Then if we are at that level, there are some things in society that we have to be not um, hypocritical about. Let us just be real. Some of these things are happening in the world. We are at an age where internet is accessible by everyone, even the young people. Some not even um, uh, got into the legal age. So, and it's happening. Why do we have to act like if you show this to people, if you show this to Kenyans, then the, this is, the, this is the, um, um, the kind of message you're trying to pass across. We know it's there. It's already, um, it's in music videos. It's in other movies out there. Why are we being hypocritical in a society? That is what is messing us. Okay, Boyo. Mm -hmm. Do we have LGBTQI mm -hmm. community in Kenya? Yes. yes. Do they have a story to tell? Yes. yes. Did Rafiki tell that story? Yes. yes. That is all I can say. Okay. Smita, can you keep it as short? Yeah, like yeah, boy? very <laughs> I found the producers very lazy to just go to court to get a, uh, the ban lifted right. for the Oscars. Eh? I wish they had done it as a constitutional question for freedom of expression. Ah, mm. from that point of view. Yes. Okay. It, uh, under Section 34, A and B, and conjoined with C of mm -hmm. the Constitution. Mumeskia. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I wish they had done that. Eh? Not for the, those narrow things. They should have challenged Dr. Mtua at that level. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, are we as artists free to show whatever we wish mm -hmm. to? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Also